3 and Quake 4 multiplayer, and they've changed all these maps just slightly. Yeah. And it fucking kills me. Cause like, this map in Kinda Doom like 3 I just did. had like, yeah, had little teleporters and little extra areas where the ar uh, red armor is down there. Uh. Like shit like that. So I've memorized all that, and it's just not working for me. Also, those tentacles were actually reachable without having to rocket jump. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, there it goes. Good. Yeah. Every time I hear the uh, "somebody got hit" sound by me, it just reminds me of Wolfenstein Enemy Territory because it's the same exact sound. It is, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, they they ported a lot of resources. Oh, you're lagging, buddy. Resources from the netcode uh, from Quake 3 into uh, enemy territory. Oh, wow. I don't know why, but that's just a thing. We should do a thing with enemy territory one day, you know? Why not? It's free. I don't know. Are those servers still even up? Yeah, they have like a shit ton of servers that have bots on them, but there's like very few that have actual players. But I mean, with all the people we have here on this server, you know, we could have our own server with like, I don't know, 20 people at max or whatever the limit is for... Amazon well, AWS. I'm, I'm trying to find a good source variation on um, Unreal Tournament 2004 right now, but to, everything between like 2001 and 2008 is so janky to get running on newer systems. Like, there's always yeah. some issue. I remember I used to play Unreal Tournament with a couple of buddies from the bestgamers.net, so I'm not. I think I still have like a version of Unreal Tournament or whatever. But I just, have to, I just have to find it. Um, I think it's the original. Right. No, I'm looking at 2K4 because I want to try doing assault modes. But I don't really see the point unless we can at least get eight people consistently to join. Because you need at least four people to make those maps work. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's it's, it's a long shot thing. You have to get a bigger group going. Yeah. Because bots, the bots don't know how to use tanks and the vehicles and shit. Funny oh, thing yeah. is, Unreal Tournament 2K4... Did everything that um, did everything that Halo tried to do better? Yep, in my opinion. But it didn't get the the fanboy clubs in on it. So, oh man, I really like the character I'm using right now because he doesn't go ah. Oh! Nah, uh, if you want a way to rape your ears, uh, play a Skelly Boy. I think I am playing a Skelly Boy. Or uh, no, you're playing, you're playing like as. Organs. Yeah, you're playing with the guy that his organs out. Who yeah. actually, surprisingly enough, his hitbox is exactly the same as everyone else. Yep, yeah, everyone's got the same. As they should be. Yeah, I figured there'd be a, a character they put in there as a as a thing, you know, like a, a handicap. Oh, Buttox is on here. Is there a way I can tell him to get the hell on Discord? I was playing CSGO with him a couple nights ago. How do I how do I type stuff to people? Just Press T. Uh, T and then press type it in. What are you Please. playing? We are playing the Quake, sir. What? The Quake 3, sir. Ah. I mean, I can run Quake 1 actually as a server. It's just. It, I don't think you can actually serve a Quake 1, can you? Anymore? I think it's just TCP still. Um, I'm, yeah, maybe. I don't think you can do a dedicate on it in console. They didn't do that until Quake 3. Quake 2. There's a couple uh, mods that do it for you, but um, they weren't that good. <clears throat> oh, I, I almost got gotcha. you. I almost got gotcha, you, yeah, Dixie. Gotcha. I keep hitting these lag spikes. Oh, tell your mom to stop watching Netflix, brother. <laughs> Why? <laughs> And I'm the only one home right now, too, so I don't know why it's doing that. It's probably something to do with the weather. Cold air and all that damaging, um... Oh, yeah. Speeds and shit. How slow is your internet? Um, it's not that bad, actually. I'm pretty sure I'm not, um... Holy shit. I can't remember off the top of my head where I'm at. I know it's not that bad, though. Especially for a couple people. Especially yeah. not for Quake. Like, Quake requires... Uh, you 32 play... megabytes of pre of, of preloaded space to run most maps. It's really lightweight. I, you could basically play it on um, 
Like, you could get away with playing it on dial-up or DSL, but your ping wouldn't be favorable. Or on the library of your high school computers. For all yeah. the 18-year-old seniors out there watching this. Freaking 200 ping plus. Look, man, they got this game years ago to run in a browser. So... Hell yeah, brother. It doesn't oh, need much. Baby. I can imagine the uh, desync on that. I'll give you guys a chance to catch up. Melee only. Melee only for you or for me? Ahead of someone for everybody. Oh. Flag. oh, I'm sorry. Get the I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to switch to melee. Just it won't let me. Scroll you press one. Melee. You oh, press yeah. one in melee, and if you're in quad damage, it's basically an insta kill. Oh wow. Because it does 25 health without armor. You know, back to the whole library computer thing. I remember when I was like, when I was in high school, there was this, uh, there was this glitch thing in the shared server that we could do. All you had to do was change StarCraft.exe or BroodWar.exe to just, you know, uh, I Explore. Cool math games. No, no, cool no. math games.exe. No, no, no. Just I Explore.exe. And then once you change it to I Explore.exe, everybody was just land partying in the in the library of the school's <laughs> computers, playing like all the custom maps in Brugor. Yeah, so um, good times. That was one way to get around it in a lot of those machines. Um, yeah. Where I was at, the the workaround was actually even easier. <clears throat> you just need an outside media to run the exe. The files could be placed inside the PC, but you had to use it. The only way to load the EXEs was to load it from a separate file. So we had uh, either floppy drives in the older computers or CDs in the newer ones. Ah, uh, I used to. I also used to take uh, my 7 gig flash drive and just load it up with GTA San Andreas. I just, I mean, just like after I did my math class, I'm like, hey, can I play a game on the computer? And the teacher was like, yeah, sure, go go ahead, just you know. Just don't like let anyone else. Drive, just don't want anyone else play, and so I'd be playing GTA San Andreas with like the cheats and the flying cars and shit. <laughs> and so it was like the Harry Potter cars. And, and so I was like, "Hey, dude, can I play?" I'm like, "Yeah, teacher's not here. Go ahead." I remember one of my friends got flash drives banned from the school just because you put a virus on the school server. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he did it on accident? We did that on purpose. My, uh, yeah, he did it on purpose, but like he uh, claimed it was an accident. Uh, but they yeah. still banned flash drives completely after that. What can that. you do, man? What can you do? I mean, even uh, for teachers too, probably, huh? I don't Thanks. know if you guys remember, but the Benjamin virus, I managed to get that running on every single computer on the network at the school I was at. I used to, <laughs> I used to just log into the library of the school's computer, go into the BIOS and set a password to turn on the computer so you had to type something in to get past the BIOS. No, nah, our IT guy. Oh, our, the yes. RT, IT guy was actually pretty good in line, so... Well, ours was slacking really hard. Ours didn't really give a shit as long as the computers weren't dusty and slow. They were trying to add, like, a friggin' video streaming server, like, when I left in 2008, or 2009. Fucking why? They wanted to set up, like, a friggin' school-wide news thing. Oh, I had that. pretty cool. I had That's that. That's actually pretty cool, man. Yeah. It was pretty cool. It's they a mine fucking server sucks. the year I was there, but like they kept holding off on building it, even though it was like there. They had the racks and everything, and it's like, just let me build it, please. I know how to do it. We we already had that all set up by the time I before I graduated in like 2012, and like somebody somebody kept doing like covers of like school shit for like, but they kept doing a cover of that one Easy E song. What he's talking oh, about is uh, yeah. rolling around in one a of my or whatever. Every time yeah, one of my yeah. friends had a film class like that. Ah, oh, dude, Jim. it suck. It just fucking sucks. Like I am, I quite three right now. There's just a bunch of video essays and occasionally a music video that they had to make. There was like all these cringy like commercials for like, uh, was it Japan Animation Club or something like that? Oh, God. oh my God. And uh, and there was this one. But they had the, they used to have this one forum called like the SD f Sun Devil Forum or whatever. Somebody hacked it and like put a bunch of Pakistani shit in there. So it was like hacked by Pakistan and all this stuff. It was basically like an AV nerd in my senior year only. Yeah, I, but also I, a theater nerd. I didn't really do much of that stuff. I mean, I had a, a horse riding club. 
Oh, dude, that's pretty pimping, actually. Dude, that was awesome. Dude, it was seriously awesome. We had to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go out to these places, though. Uh, at least, um, did, did you have to pick up after the horses, too? Um. Or did, you, did you guys just let the, uh, the AV, or did you guys days just that we like, went. Do you guys ever let, like, the track and field just fucking pick it up after they step in it? <laughs> Not... Not that bad, no. The horse, the horse, uh, it was at a separate farm outside of us. Oh, uh, okay. How many of you had a future Farmers of America, like, farm <laughs> on your school? I yeah. I couldn't find the video last week, but there, remember when, like, Adam Lambert went to a high school and some chick ran up to him with, a like, a teal bra on or something? Yeah, that was my school, actually. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> yeah, that was actually <laughs> my school. My, that was my school, actually. My school is famous for having three bomb threats three years in a row. Oh, nice. Wow. That's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. It was like a free day off once a year where we just got to sit in the field and watch, like, slot run around the school from, like, the field. Oh, People man. just set shit on fire at my schools. And then we... Yeah, that too. <laughs> like, one of my friends used to, like, put fireworks in, like, random places when we'd get off and... You know, we'd be walking away and like it just like explode in some post or something. We always kept cherry bombs, and every school I went to, we always kept a bunch of cherry bombs because in Texas, they don't really protect against the cold. So when it's cold outside, you throw cherry bombs on the the toilet, lit, and you uh, wait for them, and you explode, destroy the uh, yeah, destroy we the didn't pipes. Have a lot you do of that enough bombs. times. You do that enough to enough uh, the toilets, they have to shut down the school. Yeah. So we and did that because we didn't really get snow days. We had to make our own. Another we'll time. Fire. Another time at my school, somebody took a shit like right next to the school, and they had to close it down. And it turns out it was somebody from like the middle school that I used to go to that happened to be like right next to my school. It's like one year. Uh... The senior, I think it was like my junior, the senior prank, they freaking painted like every window in the school with like some stuff that like washes off, saying that they were the like best year ever, and then they like all got in trouble and had to wash it themselves <laughs> during school hour. <laughs> or no, at like during Saturday school basically. This wasn't basically uh, made them stay after to clean. This wasn't my senior year, but I remember coming home. I mean, I remember going to school in the morning and I saw this, uh, this, and everybody was gathered around the cafeteria because it was one of those outdoor cafeterias, right? Well, it turns out somebody put all the cafeteria tables and, and like, three of the golf carts stacked on top of each other on the roof of the cafeteria. How? I don't know, dude. Somebody, somebody's dad was like, yeah, let's do it. Our security guards would roll around in golf, golf carts, oh, but... No. We didn't, we, uh, about we, it. Didn't, we didn't have we used security the guards, to flip we those just had, over. like, well, cameras. Well, it was, like, campus, like, you know, people... Because, yeah. like, it wasn't, like, teachers that would watch the students, it was just, like, people that they would hire that yeah, were but part of the office crew, basically. There there were but hours that they it, weren't there, though, so that was probably yeah, the vulnerability I grew I'm up, talking about. The school that I went to was basically gangland a few years before I went there, and oh, it had stopped by the time I got there, so... Oh, man. They See? still had some of the security. At least they didn't have tasers or pepper spray anymore when I went. So, man, you basically missed out on, like, all the mayhem, pretty much, huh? Yeah. Well, like, if it wasn't for them, like, like cracking down on all that, I probably would have gone to a different school, like, outside of the district. Yeah, and then you wouldn't, like, be able to catch up on, like, the lore of the history of it. Yeah, yeah, and you wouldn't know, yeah, I wouldn't know all the cool spots in my town like I do. Did you guys ever used to, like, fuck with people who were at your school? Like, who were kind of, like, 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 dicks to you? Well, like, say, you know, you were friends with some pretty cute chicks, right? And the dickhead jocks were bullies to you because you were small or skinny or whatever the fuck. So, my cute friends keep getting harassed by him. And then I got I, I got the idea, hey, you know, I used to go on the 4chan and I used to do all those fucked up things to people. Cute friend, they still give me your phone number? Well, next time they do it, give me give me the phone number. I got an idea. Oh, so dear then I God, go, no. So then I go on a teen dating site. I look at the back pages of Google Images for all these cam whores. And then I just post all this stuff, like begging for sex and all this stuff, and I place his phone number <laughs> and his email address. 
And That's shit. like the modern version of oh, hi, sending hi. someone yeah. a million fucking newspaper subscriptions that they all have to cancel because they get like the free first month. Oh, dude, before yeah. before I did that, I would get his address off the school's computer because I was a friend with one of the teachers and I needed to know like where my where one of my friends lived so I could walk to his house, right? The so, yeah. fuck? So yeah, I was able to get bullies addresses by doing that, but anyways... You work in the office like that? But, but, doing and, paperwork, yeah. basically? No, no, I didn't do paperwork. I was like, hey, I need to rem I need to find out where my friend lives, his phone's dead, and they're like, yeah, yeah, okay. So they called him up Scott. or wh whatever, and then he's like, yeah, I'm not home right now, and I don't know where my address is exactly. I just know how to get there. And they're like, okay, here, go on the computer. And I was like, oh, hey, look, first name I see, Dickhead Devin. And I'm like, okay, I'll take that. And then, you know... Give them all these fucked up newspaper subscriptions for like all these terrible websites and all these things, and all these like all, you know like have to racist racists in the areas. Uh, they had no idea it was me, and it was a great time. But anyway, back to the uh, back to the whole like phone number thing. So that dickhead. Why is there a lightning gun? So that dickhead's just sitting there in the middle of history class, and you can hear the phone just vibrating in his pocket, and he's like. He has to go to the bathroom, and he says, like, I gotta go to the bathroom, and the then fuck? the teacher <laughs> says, the teacher's like, basically, this is the third time, you're not going again for a week, and then he, he's like, okay, thank you, and then, you know, he leaves, and he turns, oh, jeez, I'm fucking sucking today, and he, he leaves, you know, he closes the door, and about 12 seconds later, you can just barely hear wh when the teacher is in a pause while giving a lecture, God damn it, I'm not a fucking girl! <laughs> wait, wait a second. What the fuck's up with this map, man? All the placements are like way off. Oh, it's the uh, pro version. Oh, the CPM, whatever bullshit. Um, it, it's called Pro Quick Free DM6. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it, it, it's, it's got different placements. Yeah, gotcha. Guys, I'll just are, uh, like updated maps. <laughs> those, are, those are my high school stories. You guys got any stories like that? I only got the one about the pizza. Uh, no, there's like the one, the pizza like there was one time some guy like stood up and tried to score up with a teacher, but then ended up just like walking out like a bitch. <laughs> the dude's gonna report him to the fuck. He's gonna report the teacher to like the freaking school staff, but they didn't give a shit. Ah oh, man. Well, yeah, cause like who are they gonna believe? Some lying kid or him? Or I mean yeah. the teacher? You know? They got into like an argument over homework or something, and then like. The guy never paying attention in class, so he got pissed and stood up and wanted to fight the teacher, and it was like, what the fuck is uh, going on? Oh yeah, another time, one of my friends, my uh, my friends from India, he was, you know, like, he was born here and all that stuff, but somebody, he was in the class and somebody pulled the prank. I don't have, like, any video or pictures of it. I'm sure I can probably get my friend to send me the picture. But you, it's just a picture of what, one of his teachers just like in the corner crying because somebody gave him a box full of live cockroaches. And the teacher just oh, couldn't handle oh, it. Oh, he's like terrified Ooh. of them? He, he would, yeah. I, I mean, I remember the story, but it was just like, god damn, dude. What the teacher do to deserve that? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Parents would just buy a bunch of chocolate covered cherries and be like, give these out to your teachers. And I'd be like, why? You could just take, like, you know, a syringe and just inject it with mayonnaise or something. Oh, Disgusting. God, no. Inject with meth. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, soli it is water soluble, after all. Uh, yeah, uh, though, you kids watching this, do not do this to your teachers, okay? Thank you. I wasn't really told we, do, we like don't encourage drugging anybody they here. We do encourage drugging yourself, though. Yes. <laughs> I mean, well, you, you can you, drug other people if you have the money and they're willing to do drugs with you. You need to do, you yeah, need to get consent before you do this stuff. Yeah, it would be like, hey, I have some money. You want to go like pick oh, up this? And they'd be like, hell yeah. Yeah, but if it's like, hey, I'm gonna put this in your drink without looking. Ah, that's some Jeffrey Dahmer shit right there, you know. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, you know, that's bad. Get consent first, and uh, you know, don't brag about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's how you get caught in school. But a kid, a, a kid friend of mine, and uh, he was like a freshman or something like that. He was he was bragging about how he would, how his dad would let him drink four locos, and our English teacher was like really letting him have it for it. This is the same English teacher who would get pissed off because I would make the bong noise while I was sitting in the back of class and she was doing like lectures. I just go, <laughs> and the stoners would start laughing. And she just go and she just says my name like. Oh! <laughs> you know, like that, like, what are you making that noise for? 
or like I remember one time uh, one of my friends was trying to get back into the school without his ID so he just put like all of his shit in my bag and he got searched and I didn't and it was like everyone knew that I smoked and nobody ever like none of the fucking security ever fucked with me oh dude I used to smoke like all the time before in between when you had that lunch break on senior and after school like all the freaking time I think it's secure I think the school was afraid of my parents. Uh, you see, I was the type of kid who kept stuff in like, you know, smell-proof containers, and I didn't tell anyone about it. So you yeah, know, I remember. I never got buying, caught. I I've bought weed in my English class and sat in like the second row. I I remember I bought weed in like the bathrooms and stuff, and I would and I would take acid before school sometimes. A buddy of mine, he got drunk and apparently stole like a phone out of somebody's backpack on camera. And then when they caught him about it, after he showed me and my friend in, in some sort of bathroom by the uh, PE lockers, uh, he he was walking with the uh, staff member. And then he, when the staff member wasn't looking, he just threw the phone in the trash. I think my DNS is fucking up. That's what's doing this. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Ah oh, man, those rocket launchers are a lot stronger. Yeah, rocket. Yeah. Rock. Another time, a buddy of mine had uh, we had the drug dog going in our classroom that day, and uh, my buddy, he got caught. He got like sus the dogs gave like a suspicious alert or something to like weed in his backpack, and there was no weed. It just smelled like it. But like before that, he got in trouble because he had a bong in his backpack, and he just decided to go smoke for like half an hour. When he said he had to go to the bathroom another time, like before the drug dog showed up. You know, I've gotten searched by uh, cops because of a drug dog. Because, and here's the best one, I got suspended for having a Subway sandwich. Oh my Whoa. god, really? I'm not joking. They're still dogs. They're well-trained dogs, but they're still dogs. Yeah. They'll be like, ooh, meat. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, nowadays, kids probably just, like, rub, like, put it in, like, a few layers of plastic bag and then they just rub in, like, chili powder, p chili water, whatever. Chili powder water. Um, honestly, I don't know fucking don't. Just keep all the... Uh, my internet's getting all fucked up. Can you guys hear me? What happened to my ping? What happened uh, to uh, my internet? Alright guys, well, I guess my internet's, you know, not fucking working right now, so thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, thank you for commenting, tweeting, retweeting, messaging, etc. Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh, yeah, thank you guys very much, messaging, you know, whatnot, following, uh, uh, you know, all that stuff. Uh, see you next episode, this has been Quake 3 with my friends.